Hey, welcome to edX world and another video in the IGCSE accounting playlist. The entire syllabus of IGCSE accounting has already been covered. You can check all the videos in the playlist. This video is going to be on incomplete records where we will use the opening and closing statement of affairs to calculate the profit for the year. So when you see the question, pause the video, solve the question on your own and then go forward with the solution. At the end of the video, you can also see four MCQs. The answers to those MCQs will be in the description box. Try solving them and check the answer. See if you get them right. If you have any doubts regarding the question or the MCQs, the comment section is always open. You can post your queries there. So let's begin this video. The question I have for you is here. So we have a we have some details on 1st June 2020. Assets are given, liabilities are given. So these assets and liabilities will be first used to calculate the opening capital of the trader by preparing an opening statement of affairs. Certain information is given that will be relevant for the statement of affairs that will be prepared at the end of the year, which is 31st May 2021. We, when we prepare the closing statement of affairs, we'll see all these details then. And finally, the last statement is also telling you about additional capital and drawings that will be used to actually calculate the profit for the year once we have the opening and closing capital. Part A requires us to prepare the opening statement of affairs. Part B, the closing statement of affairs and part C requires us to prepare the capital account that can be used to calculate the profit for the year. So let's begin by preparing our opening statement of affairs. The statement of affairs is prepared in a similar format like a balance sheet. Let's list down our assets. Then we will deduct all our liabilities on 1st June 20 to find out the capital on that date. So starting with the assets, I will list down first the non-current assets, which is equipment and premises. The values are already given directly. The total of our non-current assets is 34,000. Let's list down our current assets and finally take the total of our assets. We have arrived at our total of the assets at 52,200. Let's now deduct our liabilities. Under liabilities, we have one non-current liability, which is the bank loan. And then we have two current liabilities, which is trade payables and bank overdraft. Let us deduct all of these and finally find the capital as on 1st June 2020. So we have arrived at our opening capital or capital on 1st June 2020 as 33,600. We will now go and prepare our closing statement of affairs to arrive at the closing capital in a similar way. But for closing statement of affairs, we need to consider the adjustments that are given below the table. So let's go through the adjustments and prepare our statement of affairs. So starting with our non-current assets in our closing statement of affairs, we have premises wherein 10% depreciation on cost is to be provided. So the net book value would be the cost of 25,000 minus depreciation of 10% on that 2,500. 22,500 would be the net book value of the premises in the statement of affairs. We have equipment, the value of which is already given directly 7,500. So let us record these two non-current assets and take a total of the non-current assets. The total of the non-current assets is 29,900. Then let's start with the current assets. In our current assets, inventory is given at 8,500. Trade receivables totaled 12,200. But 
5% provision for doubtful debts has to be provided. So we'll provide 5% of that, which is 610. And the net amount would be recorded as net trade receivables. And trade payables, we'll look, look at it in the current liability section. Cash at bank was 1600. This is also a current asset. So let's record these three current assets and let's see how much is the total of the assets. So the total assets are 51,590. Let us deduct our liabilities. We have non-current liability, which is the bank loan. The information is given that 2,000 of the bank loan is already repaid. So the original loan amount was 10,000. We reduced the 2,000 from that. So the net loan remaining unpaid is 8,000 in the closing statement of affairs. Apart from that, we will also record our current liabilities. The only current liability I can see is trade payables at 8,700. Let us record these two liabilities and find out the capital as on 31st May 2021. The closing capital is 34,890. How did I get that? Assets of 51,590 minus the total of liability 16,700. That's how we found our capital, which is the basic accounting equation. That's what I've used. We've found out our closing capital. We have our opening capital. We can use this information and some more information given in the question to prepare a capital account. And the point of preparing the capital account here is to calculate the profit or loss for the year. The opening capital can be written as a balance brought down on the credit side and the closing capital which is on 31st May 21 can be written as a balance carried down on the debit side of the capital account. Apart from that, information is given that trader has invested additional 4000 capital that will come on the credit side of capital account because when additional capital is invested, capital account is credited and 2000 has been withdrawn for personal use that is the drawings and drawings is ultimately transferred to the debit of capital account. Let's record all these four transactions and then see what's the result after that. Once these transactions are recorded, the net result in the capital account, the net balance in the capital account will be either profit or loss. If the credit is greater than debit, it's a loss for the year. If the debit is greater than credit, it's a profit for the year. Here I can clearly see that the credit is greater than the debit. The credit total is 37,600. The debit total is just 36,890. So that makes it a loss for the year. Let us balance this capital account and find out how much is the loss for the year. So we have a loss of $710 for the year. This is how you can use the opening and closing statement of affairs to calculate the profit or loss for a trader or for a business that does not follow double entry bookkeeping. If you think that the video was useful for you, if you think value was added, please like the video, please share the video with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Many more videos will be coming up in the future. Make sure you do not miss them. Thank you for being there. I'll see you soon.